Hi, this is Wes and Paul from Three Dead Trolls in a Baggie. And welcome to How to Buy a Computer. Over the next few minutes, we're going to explain to you a few simple hints that will take the fear out of buying a personal computer. That's right. You know, Wes, a lot of people out there are asking themselves if they should buy a computer. Well, I'm asking myself that right now. Exactly. And the answer is, if you get bored waiting around for the things you own to become obsolete then a computer is for you. You bet. Uh -huh. Now, the single most important factor to keep in mind when buying your new computer is size. Mm. Get one that's too big to throw out the window because that's what you're going to want to do at least three times a day. Good point, Wes. Thank that's you. gonna save you big money in the long run. Mm -hmm. Remember though, folks, computers are getting smaller and smaller all the time. So it might be a good idea to avoid problems down the road by moving into a basement suite with tiny windows now. The next thing you'll need to decide is whether to buy a laptop or a desktop computer. Mmm, good point, Paul. You know, a few years ago, all computers were desktop computers, and that means they were compact enough to be operated on a desk. But if you put them on a table or a counter or, God forbid, your lap, they'd shoot deadly beams into your eyes and then explode. You don't want that. No. Now, however, we have laptop computers. The word laptop comes from a Latin expression meaning, don't drop this. Laptop computers are designed to be light and portable so that you can impress strangers on airplanes. I like to do that. Yeah. Whichever type of computer you buy, an important consideration is RAM. How much RAM should you buy? Well, in the words of Ernest Hemingway, buy a lot of RAM. You know, here's a good tip when buying RAM. Ooh. Think of a very large number. Think of... Uh, well, think of the biggest number you can think of, okay. and then multiply it by eight. Okay. That's how much RAM you need. Wow. Yeah. RAM comes in bunches of eight. Eight megabytes, 16 megabytes, 32 megabytes, 12,546,112 megabytes. The reason RAM only comes in bunches of eight is because inside your computer, the RAM is manipulated by tiny elves who only have eight fingers. I like it when elves manipulate things. <laughs> Make sure your new computer comes with a CD-ROM. This is important because a CD-ROM drive allows you to access interactive versions of encyclopedias, atlases, cookbooks, and other kinds of boring books that you wouldn't normally buy in a million years. You know, a CD-ROM also allows you to access multimedia. Whoa, whoa, what is multimedia? Well, multimedia is just like ordinary media, but not as good. Sort of like this. Yeah. For example, you could watch a video on your computer, a boring video of things you don't care about but smaller and more flickery. It's like owning a TV that's three inches wide. Well, with all this information in hand, you're all set to go out and buy your new computer. Okay. The only thing you need to know now, Paul, is where do I buy it? We suggest you try IKEA, where they have those hollow plastic fake computers they use to show off their desks. Oh, yes. If you can manage to steal one of those, you'll have a great-looking computer to impress your friends, and nobody will be able to tell it's fake, especially after it's got that convincing layer of dust on it. Well, that's all the time we have. Thanks for joining us. Oh, yes. And remember, buying a computer isn't something you should be afraid of. No way. Even if you make a mistake and get the wrong one, it'll be obsolete so fast it just won't matter. Good night. Beep, 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 beep.